The treatment options for sleep apnea are primarily threefold. One is a CPAP machine, two is an oral appliance that the dentist makes, and three is more severe, but it's surgery to remove soft tissue structures in the back of the mouth. The primary and, and the gold standard has always been CPAP, and CPAP does work. CPAP is a mask that fits over your nose and mouth and will continuously blow airway uh, all night long. Okay, it does work, but many patients don't like it. Many pa some patients love it, makes them feel great, but many patients also don't like it. Okay, so whether they, for those patients that have been diagnosed and, and uh, given a prescription for a CPAP, if they can't or won't wear it, then they should definitely come see us and talk about what the dentist can, a dentist uh, can play in that, which is to create an oral appliance for them, which is very small and convenient. It looks like a mouth guard, it, uh, a night guard. It pops in, one part goes over the upper teeth and one goes over the lower teeth, and it serves to basically advance the lower jaw forward a little bit within the comfort level of the patient, but that helps pull all the soft tissue forward <clears throat> and prevents it from collapsing during sleep. So most patients find it to be a lot more comfortable and tolerable than a CPAP machine. So if they can't tolerate the CPAP or if for whatever reason they don't want to do it, they should definitely get treated with an oral appliance. The third type of treatment is surgery, and that's to remove a lot of the structures and the tonsils and the uvula in the back of the mouth that could potentially be falling back and blocking the airway. And uh, that's kind of a last resort, but that's, that's the role that we play is to help patients who um, either can't or won't do the CPAP and or many patients, if they have mild or moderate sleep apnea, they, their first choice is going to be an oral appliance rather than a CPAP machine. That's what we're here to help them get.